Hello, uh, welcome to this discussion today. My name is Alan Peacock uh, and I lead IBM Cloud globally. And I'm delighted to welcome John Van Uden, who is the CTO at Nordio Bank. And uh, uh, great to have you here today. Thank Thanks you, Thanks a lot, Alan. Maybe I can uh, kick off with a question, John. So, ma massive sort of evo evolution of you know, digital first for your customer base and, and generally bank's customer base. How, how are you uh, handling that uh, ever-increasing demand from your customers? That's a great question. And uh, if we just take it within the context of the Nordic environment, you know, that Nordic countries are heavily digitized already. And uh, the ability for us to live within that market means that the demands from our customers are they want a digital experience. The challenge we have is we've got to create that digital experience mm -hmm. that's the same, whether you're in the branch, whether you're calling the call center, or whether you're interacting with us over the phone, through a mobile app or through our, our web presence. So it's really super important for us to not only build that experience, but make sure that experience is consistent mm -hmm. and it sort of fits with the market dynamics. So we, we're, we're, do, we're very focused on providing that customer experience. Um, we have an you know, objective to sort of double the amount of products that we offer through the digital channels by 2025. Mm. So a real heavy focus on making sure we keep within the context of the Nordic environment and maintain you know, a leading position on the digital experience that we provide our customers. That's great. You know, as we advance our digital first capabilities, you know, one of the big challenges is how, how do you keep you know, customers secure? How do you keep their data secure? And I guess the evolution of our industry where there's more and more third and fourth parties in the service chain yeah. and, and unfortunately more bad actors as well. How do you address that, that challenge of, of keeping your, your client's data safe? I, I mean, security has just got to be the design principle from day one. Yeah. You, don't, you can't compromise on the security. You've got to ensure that you're always validating whether you're happy with the security posture you have. And you also got to keep looking forward to see how do I keep ahead of bad actors mm -hmm. whilst at the same time still providing innovation. So at the same time we innovate, we've got to make sure our security friends and our partners and third and fourth parties are kept with us on our expectations around security. We cannot lose the trust of our customers or, or the communities that we live within. So it's an important process of part of the design. I completely agree. And I think, you know, in IBM Cloud, we've engineered a solution with security and, you know, compliance with regulations at the heart of our solution. In terms of that, that, that lens of regulation and the, what feels like, you know, ever increasing regulatory scrutiny. How do you handle that balance between, you know, focus on, on regulatory scrutiny, compliance, security, uh, and, and trying to drive innovation? How, how do you, you balance those conflicting demands? They are, it is an interesting triangle to try and manage all of the time. Yeah. I think there's a, there's a very important cornerstone we all have to have, which is visibility to what is going on. What does your environment look like? What is that security posture it is? And how far off or on from the standards you want to adhere to are you within, within each of those environments? So I think there's an element of security by design, making sure you've got those outcomes that you want for the regulators. Make sure you demonstrate that you are truly accountable for the platform, no matter where the responsibility has been given. Mm -hmm. When you're using third parties to help you innovate, you still retain that accountability to make sure that your customers and your customers' data is kept safe. Mm. So I think it's a very important avenue to have visibility to how you're doing things and what mm. data you have and how that security posture is, while at the same time, hey, what, what values can we take and what can we harness from our providers to help us go mm. faster? And, and that kind of third and fourth party risk you know, element, I mean, obviously there's you know, there's the element that you, you kind of control yourselves as an organization, and then there's the th third and fourth party, you know, SaaS providers and cloud providers. How do you, you look at that lens between what you do yourselves and, and, and what those yeah. third and fourth parties do in yeah. ensuring security? I, I think the, uh, the demands that are going to all be put upon us in the European context with Dora mm. will really raise the game for where our third parties are able to stand next to us and show that they can demonstrate they are very focused on you know, digital stability. And the uh, requirements from Dora will really force our third parties to figure out how they're going to create that visibility with us, where previously it may have been behind the curtain. And, and that needs to come to the fourth so we can, we can be together with the regulators and explain to them we have got them in hand. We all had early wake-up calls, 
So we have the, all have the log for j Christmas, <laughs> where we all had to find out what our third parties were doing yeah. within their software products. I think, I think that, that wake up call for us all about, you really have got to understand not just, as you point out, your ecosystem, what are your third parties doing? And equally, what are your other, what are those third parties doing with their fourth parties? Yeah, so I, think yeah. I mean, I think that that's that following that service chain through, you know, end to end is, is, is vital to maintain that security posture. Yeah. Uh, and I think you know one one of the things that we've been doing within IBM over over the last few years is certifying a number of third third and fourth party you know applications you know SaaS applications mm -hmm. that 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 actually allow organisations to feel comfortable that adequate controls are in place in those third and fourth party yeah. solutions, which uh, which is kind of in, an incremental lens to maybe where the industry has been historically. And you know, so let's let's talk about the industry and, and who provides services to yourself. You know, so the cloud service providers, the SaaS providers, um, I guess you know, growing fintech populations as well. And you know, how how can they help you to help um, deploy those technologies to help your business? If we uh, if, if we take the approach of making sure we have really key partners that are really strong at the pieces they're good at, and then we blend ourselves into that environment. So partnering with vendors who bring really strong security products or partnering with vendors who are able to give us AI capabilities. And then what we blend into that is our knowledge of how to run within a banking context. I think that's, that's how we should really come together, that we, we have providers that really bring some core capabilities to us. And then we enhance that with our knowledge of our customer base, our knowledge of being in the Nordics, our knowledge of just how the product should really operate. And I think we have a few examples of where that works. We've, we've got um, an advisor, an AI advisor inside our, okay. inside our application, mm. which really helps our customers understand how we support their saving needs. And that's going really well, you know, blending some core capabilities from some providers alongside our context to really deliver a customer outcome. That's, that's been really strong for us. That's great. And, and look, uh, you know, an IBM Cloud, uh, you know, a part of our value proposition is that we build a cloud for financial services, and uh, uh, and therefore from the ground up, we've engineered a lot of the control framework that the financial services industry really needs to operate safely, um, and we believe that's a real real differentiator. I think the other thing we've done, of course, is we've 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 actually hired people from the industry, so people who've kind of stood in your shoes or sat in your seat that that kind of understand the the real life challenges that, that you face, face day to day. So uh, John, can I thank you uh, for, for, for your time today. Uh, it's been invaluable to hear your insights and, and how you're taking on some of these challenges. So thank you very much for your time today. Thanks a lot, Alan, thank that was you. wonderful.